Um, hello guys, so today I'll be taking you through how to get an IPA file uh, from App Store. So initially guys used to do it uh, using the iTunes app, so you just click on iTunes and then you could scroll to a tab here showing the apps where you could access your apps and uh, you, you, man you, you could manage to maybe drag an IAP, IPA I mean, and uh, to your desktop or wherever and that is the simplest way you could get. But now with the latest version of iTunes you cannot get it here so what you need to do is uh, look for an alternative means. So what you need to have is an application called iMazing which is right here, it's available for download from the website. So when you launch it, uh, when you launch the application, the iMazing, you need to connect to your device. Uh, so I'm connecting it and once it's, it's connected, it should be able to sync with your phone. And yeah, so now mine is synced, showing me the apps that I have and whether it's backed up or no. So clicking on this uh, small triangle, it's a drop down uh, that you manage to see what you have on your phone. And so you, you just need to go to the apps category and uh, at the moment this is what I have installed in my phone so if I could drag and drop this to my desktop uh, that's the simple simplest way to create a backup of my application but I want to show you how to do it from uh, the store so you, what you need to do is go to manage apps and you need to be signed in to your Apple ID account so when you click on device, it will show you what is installing your device and then what is on library means what's, it, what's uh, available from your app store. So you just need to go to add from app store and uh, maybe search for an application just as you, you, you would. So maybe I'll just try with AdSense, which is a small application. And so uh, let me just try. So you just need to click on this small cloud here to enable the app. Uh, get downloaded to your amazing application so at the moment mine is acting up so I'll just show you what happens after that so assuming uh, your download is successful uh, without an issue what you need to do is uh, what you need to do is just go to the library and from here if your download was successful it should look something like this you should love your application with a green tick its size and an option to delete it so what you need to do to get now the exact copy is just right click on it and go to export ipa and then now choose the location you want to export it to so for me maybe uh let me say i want to export it to applications no let me export it to documents so clicking on that and click save that should do it. So if I go to my documents uh, tab at the moment here, you actually see the IPA file was exported here. So that's the simplest way to get your IPA file without an iTunes account. Um, thank you so much.